Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Now, today's podcast episode, I want to talk about making money from your passion business, because I'm sure that's what you want to do. You want to make money from your passion. You want to build a business around something that you love. Now, there's many, many ways to do it, and I will cover that in another episode. But I want to talk about some of the basics of making money online, some of the practical stuff and some of the mental stuff that it takes to make money online. Now, you're going to find that a lot of people who are coming to the internet right now are coming for two reasons. They either want to be entertained or they want to be educated. And when it comes to your passion business, that's how you're going to make money, either entertaining people or educating people. Now, if you've listened to the podcast um, a couple of episodes back, I had mentioned that the best way to make money from a passion is to find a passion that you have and then find a group of people who've got a problem and then find an intersect between you and that group of people. Because it's all good and well having a passion business, but if it's not entertaining or educating anyone, it's not going to make you any money. Because we all have this little mantra in our head, which is, what's in it for me? And while you may be happy making videos, writing, talking about your passion business every single day, if it's of no interest to us, well then we're just going to go our separate ways. There's no crossover with cash. So what you need to find is you need to find a crossover. Now you might find that maybe your passion business right now doesn't have really much of a crossover. So you may have to take maybe a couple of side steps to find a passion that is closely linked to a group of people. And as I said, you need to find an intersect point. Now, the reason I'm talking about intersect points is what is one way of making money with your passion is entertaining people. You will find if you're looking to make more money, you need to find a group of people who've got a problem and who are willing to pay for that problem to get rid of it. Because you're going to find that people will pay a lot of money to get rid of a problem once and for all. You know, even in your own case, think of your health, think of your family, think of something that's really frustrating you right now. Now, a really strong problem that you have, imagine somebody could just knock on your door right now, hand you the solution to that problem, and then that problem you have is gone forever. Now, depending on how big of a problem that is for you, how much it's holding you back health-wise or money-wise or family-wise, I'm sure you pay a lot of money to get rid of that problem once and for all. And that's what you need to do. You need to take your head out of your business and you need to put yourself in this group of people's minds instead. What are the problems that they have? And as I said, entertaining is is all good and well you know you can make money online entertaining people you know if you find that maybe the thing that you are happy about that you love talking about say for example maybe you just correct collect those you know plastic star wars characters and you know your house is filled with them they're all in plastic boxes you have them all kind of on shelves and you know you know the best ones to buy and what to watch out for and you know the best prices and all those things and how to collect them and all those different things about those characters you know you can talk about that all the time you can write blog posts about it you can make videos about it and you can entertain people and you can guarantee if you know people have that love that you have well they're going to go over they're going to watch your content and they'll probably follow you and you would be able to make money with that now you might be thinking well how the hell do we make money from those characters well you can find that if you build an audience on a social media platform or if you have a lot of people coming to your blog or YouTube channel you're going to find that there's a lot of ways that you can actually monetize those platforms so that the more blog posts that are read the more videos that are watched you are actually making money on advertisements or products that you are selling on those platforms to those people so you can make money entertaining people so don't dismiss that maybe whatever your passion business is right now isn't actually solving problems think to yourself well if I'm not going to educate them what about entertaining them how about you know showing them well this is what my life is like with these star wars characters and you know this is how much money i've made you know selling this rare character or whatever 
you know things like that can educate people and get them to follow you you can have your own tv show about that but my i think my preference is actually going for pain points because people will pay more to have their pain taken away so again if you maybe get a piece of paper right now and actually write down your passion and then maybe just draw two hours below it one for entertain and one for educate and think to yourself then which is the best route for me to go down will i be solving problems or will i be entertaining people now i'm just going to push aside the entertaining for a minute and go back to the education now if you're not sure if you can actually if there is people who have pain points about your passion what you can simply do is you can simply just ask yourself a few questions and just ask yourself you know does my passion help anybody out you know is anyone right now coming to the internet typing something into google or something into youtube about my passion because they're looking for an answer to the question now what i recommend is just maybe writing a couple of rough ones down just things to come off the top of your head and then go over to youtube go over to google and just put that search term in that question and see what comes up and you will find that probably there are blog posts written to answer that question there may be kindle books on the amazon store there may be youtube videos tiktok videos there may be digital products about that question that someone's asking now another thing i'd tell you as well too when it comes to mindset is this was something that i had to knock into my head was that just because other people are answering that question online doesn't mean that you can't do the same as well too you know when i used to maybe try to work out or find a, a, pro a problem that i could solve you know i used to find well there's blog posts written about it people have put youtube videos on it people have created digital products and if everyone else has done it already well then how the hell do i think i can show up and then actually create a product and try and sell it when it's already been done before and you could be thinking that as well too that when you go over to youtube or whatever platform with that question you find other people are answering it you're thinking well it's it's already been done so how can i come along and actually make money from it now if that's what you're thinking i'm going to let you know what you should be thinking because this was something that i had to realize and that was your solution to that to that problem is going to be your solution now what i mean by that is say for example you and i were experts on making videos now you may be a far better expert than me but just say for example that you and i are experts in making videos and you and i are thinking of creating a digital product for beginners who've never created videos before so even though you and i could start off with the same type of questions we could maybe say well these are the things i'm covering in my digital product what is the best phone to buy what's the best tripod what's the best microphone what's the best lighting you know what tips tricks what do we need to watch out for now we could all start off with the same questions the exact same questions but i'll answer that question in a different way from my experience you will answer those questions in a different way from your experience you're going to say to your audience well you should get this phone because i got this phone and it was brilliant but i could say i think you should get this phone because i got this phone and i thought it was brilliant or oh, this is the microphone that I use and I would never change it. Whereas you could answer the same question about a different microphone that you would never change. So the way you're going to answer those questions is going to be through your experience and your perspective. Which means that you are entitled to go on the internet as well too and sell your perspective, your answer to that question. Just like anyone else does. So you're not going to be a copycat. You're actually going to bring a new perspective to that audience and you're probably going to mention things that were never mentioned before in digital products maybe tips and tricks that no one else is talking about and that's because you're seeing from your point of view again as i said it took me a while to knock that into my head because i said to myself well everybody's already talking about this everybody's already solving that problem so how can i come and set up my little stall and say here buy from me when it was already done before but what i'm doing is i'm selling it from my perspective now again too when it comes to answering questions maybe you're thinking to yourself okay this is me but i don't know where this audience is i don't know you know who are they where's the crossover another easy way of actually 
finding your audience is looking behind you. Because for a lot of us, when we actually create digital products, sometimes you're gonna find it's for the younger version of you. It's the version of you from six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, who was new to this, who hadn't got a clue. You know, right now again, going back to these videos, you could be an expert on videos. But say maybe two or three years ago, your very first day online, you're thinking to yourself, well, what do I do? You know, do, do, it, do I do it on a phone? Do I buy a, a camera? Do I, um, can I do this? And what microphone and tripods and what software? And, you know, your head was spinning with all the different questions you had. So what you simply do is, right now, you just put yourself mentally back in the younger version of you, and then you just simply write down the questions that you had when you were starting off. And then what you can do again is just go to YouTube, just go to Google, and then type in that question and see how other people are answering it. And as you're looking at the search results, have a look at some of the products that people are selling. And that'll give you an idea of what you possibly could be doing as well. That if somebody is actually selling to an audience, there's no reason why you can't sell to that audience as well too. You know, if you find that maybe you do a search on Google and nothing comes up, or nobody is selling on that topic. Well, if nobody's selling on that topic, you can probably be guaranteed that there's no money on that topic. So right away, you can mark that off your list and not go down that route because there's no money in it. So it's an easy way of doing research before you actually create anything because you're actually walking on a path that's already walked on. You know, sometimes you think, well, I'll go, I'll go over here because I've got this great idea. Nobody's answering that question. And then when you sit down to make the videos, write the ebooks, create all the digital products, you find when you're over here, you're on your own because no one was asking that question. No one cared about that topic. So you need to backtrack again and you need to go and find out what people actually want. So I don't want you wasting your time, you know, creating content or videos or actually creating digital products on topics that no one have any interest in. Go where the money is. If you want the money, you have to go where the money is. And as I said, even though you do find other people are doing it and possibly even doing it better than you, it doesn't mean you can't do it. And again, too, if you find sometimes that when you're going into a particular topic, there are experts there, people who, you know, seem to know it all. You can guarantee that some people right now who are coming on as beginners will probably not follow an expert because that expert is probably talking about topics that they haven't even thought about yet. Whereas you coming along at a lower level would actually be more in tune with them because you are just a wee bit ahead of them. And sometimes you'll find that sometimes we just kind of get awestruck when it comes to experts because they seem so far ahead of us. Whereas you and I who are maybe just a couple of steps from that person are more relatable because we've got more in common because we're just a few levels apart from each other. So remember that as well too, that even though you are starting off, sometimes it is to your advantage being just new in the game and being close to the beginners rather than being a way up here advanced with the experts. And again too, when it comes to maybe testing out money making ideas, again, I don't want you just to, you know, create something right away and then waste your time or go after topics that have no money in it. What you need to do is start really, really small. You know, what I would do is I would take some of the questions that you have. And what I would do is I would just simply throw pieces of content out on the internet and see how people react to it. You know, if you want to, you can write a blog and you can write maybe a blog post on each of those different topics, put them out. And then over a period of time, you're going to find, well, some topics seem more popular than others. Again, if you want to do maybe TikTok videos, you probably would might maybe find that your answers might actually come back quicker by going to maybe a popular video site like TikTok where you're probably going to get more views than you might as a new beginner on a blog. You mightn't get as many readers in the beginning, which will probably take a longer to get the answer to the question. But you could create maybe a series of videos for TikTok and just put them up there and then just leave them there for a couple of days and just keep an eye on the stats. See which topics flow to the top and see which topics didn't you know, the audience didn't pay any attention to it. And again, to pay attention to the comments, the shares, the likes, 
that's going to give an idea of what topics seem warmer with your audience than other ones. And then what you simply do is maybe just take a topic that seems to be doing well, that seems like is answering questions to your audience, and then maybe expand on that. Maybe that could become an ebook. Maybe that could become a digital product. Maybe that could become maybe, you know, a module in your coaching or your training that you're thinking of doing by just simply testing out small ideas. Just drop them out there and see what your audience snaps onto. And you may find if you, once you get in front of that audience, just simply ask that audience, ask them this question. What is the biggest problem you have right now that's holding you back? And that one question is going to give you a lot of great ideas. And one of those could become your next digital product, your videos or whatever it is you're looking to create. So as I said, when it comes to making money from passion, again, there's so many different ways from doing it and I will cover it in another upcoming episode but I just want you to get your head right when it comes to making money that if you're going to make money from your passion business it's going to be one of two ways either entertaining or educating now entertaining yes you can make money from it but education has far more money and the reason is you are going after pain points and we will pay a lot of money to get rid of pain so that may be what you need to focus on And if you find that maybe your passion business right now doesn't seem like maybe it's going to solve any pain points, take a couple of steps sideways. Is there any other passions that you have that might have an audience where that you could intersect with, where you could solve their problems? And again, too, if you do find that other people are actually selling solutions, creating content, putting stuff out there to answer that question, it doesn't mean that you can't do the same because you are going to come at that topic from your own perspective, from your own knowledge, and you're going to help those people too. So as always, hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. If you have any questions or comments, or if you'd like me to cover something in this podcast, feel free to leave a comment and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.